This is a power and flow test for the Hayward Super Pump Variable Speed SP2603 VSP. That's the 230 volt uh, Super Pump Variable Speed model. Now this test is specifically for inch and a half plumbing, 1.5 inch suction. I do have a section of two inch into the pump and out of the filter, 150 square foot cartridge filter. But as you can see, the two inches off there, and we're going to be isolating through this single inch and a half return line and through this digital flow meter here where we will be monitoring the flow rate right now 11.6 11.7 gallons per minute and then we'll take a look at the power consumption as well with an external wattage meter as you can see we're currently reading at 20 just just about 22 watts of power 0.29 amps 0 0.29 amps at 230 volts, which is a very, very small amount of power. Now it's important to remember that this test is unique to my system only. That was 600 RPM that we were dealing with last time. So when you have a swimming pool installation you, and you use this pump, your flow values will be different. I'm now testing 750 RPM here. And if you run at 750 RPM, you may or may not have enough flow or enough uh, power coming from the pump to overcome your resistance to flow in my system which has fairly low resistance to flow probably about 30 feet of head i'm able to generate look at that almost almost 15 14.7 14.8 gallons per minute at only 750 rpm with this pump and like a crazy low amount of power 30 watts you know, half of a 60 watt light bulb in order to you know get the better part of 15 gallons per minute 0.35 amps current draw you know at these low rpm values if you if you have a flow meter and you know that you're getting flow you can get a lot of filtration value for very very little money so up to a thousand rpm now and take a look 19.8 gallons per minute 50 watts half of an amp 0.52 amps up to 1250 rpm Twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five gallons per minute. Eighty-one watts, eighty-one point six watts, point seven six amps of current draw. Fifteen hundred RPM. Thirty gallons per minute. One hundred and twenty-six point five watts. One point one amps current draw. Seventeen hundred and fifty RPM. Thirty five point two one hundred and eighty eight and a half watts, one point five three amps, two thousand RPM. Forty point forty point five forty point eight. This needs a second. I'm gonna call that at forty point seven. Two hundred and sixty-eight point 
five watts, 2.07 amps, just over two amps. Two thousand two hundred and fifty RPM. Forty five point forty six. Forty six gallons per minute. Three hundred and seventy point five watts, two point seven four amps. Twenty five hundred RPM. Fifty one point three gallons per minute. Just a shade under five hundred watts or half a kilowatt. 497 watts, 3.51 amps. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty RPM. Fifty six, probably right around fifty six and a half. Fifty six point seven. Six hundred and fifty one point eight watts, four point four seven, four point four eight amps. Three thousand RPM. Sixty one point seven gallons per minute, eight hundred and thirty seven watts. You can really see the, the power jumping up now. Five point six three amps of current draw. Three thousand two hundred and fifty RPM. Sixty six point nine gallons per minute. Now we've moved the decimal point here, one point zero six kilowatts. It's just over one thousand watts or one thousand sixty watts is how you read that. Six point nine seven amps, six point nine eight amps current draw. This will be maximum speed now. Three thousand four hundred and fifty RPM. Seventy one point three gallons per minute. One point two six kilowatts. So again, that's one thousand two hundred and sixty watts. 8.23 amps current draw. Let's take a look at the filter pressure. Just over 10 PSI. I read that as just about 10 and a half PSI. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.